So remember how in yesterday's video I said I was due for a new phone? I told this whole story about my phone provider being retarded, sending me to the fucking store to get a phone that doesn't exist or that's been discontinued. And then they ended up telling me that, oh, we'll receive our phone in three to five days. Yeah, well, they're both here. <laughs> I was thinking of fucking shit and the doorbell rings. I'm like, oh no, this guy's gonna leave. Because you know the UPS guys, they don't fucking wait. They have five seconds, you don't answer the door, they're fucking gone. And if they leave, they don't, especially phones, they don't leave these here. You have to sign for it, then they bring it back to fucking UPS. You gotta go pick that shit up, and I wasn't about to go do that. So thank God I was basically like done my shit just on my phone. I'm like, oh no, I gotta fucking sprint. I like jump down the fucking stairs, open the fucking light, just so he sees the light gets on. I'm like, alright, he knows I'm home, he's not gonna go anywhere. Holding the two boxes like this. Here you go, put them down, here's the fucking signature, fucking thing wasn't working, I just scribbled some shit, you can't even see shit. Ask for my name, and then he fucking sprints down the thing, and I have these little rubber mats, because my veranda area, how the fuck do you say veranda in English? Porch? Front porch? Is that what the fuck it is? Whatever, my fucking veranda area, it's like patterned concrete, so it's really fucking slippery in the winter with the snow and the ice and all that shit. So we have these little rubber mats that we just place on the stairs and like the walkway so you don't fucking slip. And this guy's in so much of a fucking hurry that he slips on the rubber mat and now it's just fucked up on the veranda and I really didn't feel like going out there and fixing it because it's cold and I'm still in my fucking pajamas. Anyways, I got my iPhone 6S in one of these boxes. I'm gonna try not to be a fucking idiot and show my address. And the other one is my mom's 6S. Samsung? I, I don't know. I'm just gonna take a guess to this one because it feels like it's a smaller box when you like move it around and shit. So we're gonna put this one aside. Hopefully this is it. I'm gonna get my trusty screwdriver because I don't fucking own a damn knife. Am I right? Holy fuck I'm right bro. I'm too good. I am too fucking good. iPhone 6S. 128 gigabyte. That's fucking insane. Please tell me it's not a plus. Thank god if they fucked up. This looks big. No, it's the same size. Oh shit, they gave me a new SIM card and everything. I thought I'd just have to use my old one. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, look at that. If you have to return it, they just made the fucking sticker already. That's awesome. For your new SIM card, sign into your account and update it. I don't know what the fuck that means. Look at that shit. They give you like a bag and everything to fucking return it if there's something wrong with it. That's fucking awesome. I really hope I don't have to return it. All right, space gray. I had to make sure it was space gray if they didn't fuck it up this color. I could easily like clickbait the shit out of this. New iPhone 8 unboxing. Let's go. Oh fuck. Fuck it. I'll open it. I can't do anything with it right now. If you've been around for a few months- Oh, the fucking box is dented. Motherfuckers. If you've been around for a few months, you'd know that, I don't know, like four or five months ago maybe? My computer decided to go fuck itself. Oh. Look at it. Is it the same? Did they change it a little bit? Oh, it's the exact same phone. It just has an S on the back. Oh, yes. Let's go. Can you tell the difference besides the fact that the new one is more fucking glossy because it's got plastic on it? Everything's backwards. I don't know. There's the... Fuck shit. All right. Yeah, there's, there's just an S on this one. It's so cold. I gotta let it like I gotta let it warm up I ain't gonna fuck with it, but it's the exact same, right? Yeah, the antennas and everything they didn't change anything Oh wait, they changed the camera. The camera's better. Yeah, the camera's a little bit darker. Fuck yeah, boy I still got my aux cord. I'm so happy iPhone 6s 128 gigabytes from an iPhone 6 64 gigabytes work oh, I I was like, what the hell did I do with the rest of the box? Yes, more headphones, bro. Let's go. I really want to buy like three or four of these things before they stop selling them because of all this Bluetooth shit. Because these are my favorite headphones by far. I don't like like over the head headphones unless I'm using like Astros playing PlayStation. For earbuds, uh, these are the best fucking earbuds of all time. Every other fucking earbud, they just fall out of my ears. These ones, they just go right in. It's fucking it's beautiful because I have small ass ears. They just don't fucking stay in there. Now that they're going with all this wireless Bluetooth fucking bullshit, I hate it. So I'm very happy. Yeah, I got more fucking headphones. All right, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave this in the box. I just wanted to see it. I'm gonna leave that in there, let it warm up. We'll put the SIM card thing in here as well so I don't fucking lose it. Bang, brand new phone, I love it. So as I was saying, the reason why it's gotta sit there until I decide to fucking do this is my computer fucked up like four or five months ago, however long it was, and I still have yet to fix my iTunes. Like, my iTunes is completely blank. Even though I backed up the whole fucking iTunes thing, it just it won't let me put the fucking backup in. I thought it was as simple as drag the iTunes folder into the new fucking place where it's supposed to be. Go into your iTunes, select the folder or whatever the fuck it is, and it works perfectly. Nope, it just tells me to go fuck myself. So the reason why I've been holding off, the reason why I haven't done this is because I literally have to manually put in every single fucking song that is on my phone. Everything that's on my phone. Every single app, every single note, every single fucking contact, text, I don't know how the fuck it works. I have to go in my backed up iTunes folder and like manually put everything fucking in there. I don't know since it's all there, I can probably just like select all and then do it all at once, but still 
still, I'm too fucking lazy to do it. But now that I got a new phone, I gotta fucking hurry up and do that shit because I'm pretty sure there's no other way to get everything that's on my old phone onto the new phone. Unless like there's some special app like Samsung has that I can just download on both phones and then just transfer everything from the other phone to this fucking phone without iTunes. Because I haven't backed up this phone, which is really fucking bad. I haven't backed it up since my computer fucked up. It's been like four or five months. So if something happens to this phone, if this phone decides to go fuck itself right now, for example, then I am fucked and I lose absolutely everything. This guy is a fucking loser. I'm gonna die by him because my aim sucks dick. But luckily the phone bullshit is all done with and I think the internet is fixed too. I was like four in the morning. I did an internet connection test. I'm like, I want to fucking stream right now because the internet was good. So I set the stream 420 and the title was like 420 or some shit. And I streamed for like an hour, an hour and a half, streamed some H1Z1. And quite a few of you actually joined in. I'm like, what the fuck? How do I have 20 people in here at fucking 430 in the morning? It looks like all that bullshit is done and over with, but there's something I forgot to mention in yesterday's video. And it's something that's been going on for so fucking long. I just thought it would get fixed like, like this, just fucking easy, done. My PlayStation V are all right. I don't know if you've noticed, but the, probably the fan in the background of my video, you probably can't hear it no more. And if you didn't hear it before, then I don't fucking know because I hear it every time I edit a video besides now. Because my PSVR, like two weeks after I got it or some shit like that, the fan just got like really fucking loud. And I don't know if it's because I always had it plugged in. I was too lazy to unplug it when I wasn't using it and shit because you got to do all this shit with the PVR because you got to connect the PVR to that until the PS4 is just fucking retarded. So I just left it in there. It was like the middleman. It was the PVR and the fucking PSVR or like processor unit as the middleman as the PS4 and the TV on each end. This is probably all Chinese to you, but it's okay. Hold on. So I just left it there. Then one day I turned on my fucking PlayStation and this thing sounds like it's taken off to go to fucking Saturn. I was like, holy shit, when the hell did Sony install rocket engines in my fucking PlayStation VR processor unit? And it was like super fucking loud, like louder than a goddamn vacuum. It literally sounded like a rocket ship taking off to fucking space. I was like, all right, I gotta unplug this shit. There's no way I can record a video like this. The fan's gonna fucking overpower my voice. So I just unplugged it. I emailed fucking Best Buy because that's where I got it. I'm like, I want to exchange this. And they're all fucking robots. Every person who works for these big companies, they're all fucking robots. So there is no word exchange in their return policy. It's just return, not exchange. So they don't even fucking have the word exchange in their goddamn vocabulary. So they keep saying something about returning. Oh, you can't return this because it's over 30 days. You've had it for more than 30 days. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't want to fucking return it. I want to exchange it. The processor unit is fucking defective. I paid a thousand dollars to get a fucking defective piece of shit that I can't fucking use. This thing is gonna blow up at my fucking house and then I'm gonna have to sue you because of my fucking injury. So I emailed them again. I'm like, I don't want to return it. I want to exchange it for a new one. I just want to exchange the processor unit because it's fucking defective. And they're like, okay, just pack it up and take it to your nearest Best Buy store and bring like a photo ID and like proof of payment. Bring the invoice. I'm like, okay, sounds good. So instead of packing up this thing and going to the fucking store, not knowing if they have any PSVRs in stock, we looked up online their stock levels and everything. So we go and look up their stock levels. We search up PSVR and immediately before you even go into the website, it already fucking tells you that it's out of stock online and out of stock in store. So we go in, we type in the postal code, whatever, to see the nearest stores and every single, there is about 35, 40 fucking stores that we looked at, all out of stock online, all out of stock in stores. These fucking little assholes tell me to pack up my thousand dollar fucking product that there's no way in fucking hell that I'm gonna unset up for no fucking reason. Cause it took a little bit to set this bitch up. I ain't gonna pack it up just to have to fucking set up the exact same one again. Cause I'm still been meaning to do that until Dawn series, by the way, on the VR. Just loud as fuck and I, I don't want that in the fucking background. So every single fucking Best Buy store in my area, in the fucking province, just everyone is sold out of the PlayStation VR. And I have like the launch bundle version, so that's probably even more sold out than the fucking regular version without the bundle. So I emailed them again. I'm like, every single fucking, well, I didn't say fucking, but every single Best Buy store is out of stock right now. What do I do now? How am I going to exchange this thing now? And I'm pretty sure they didn't even fucking answer me yet. Oh wait, I have an email? Nope, my receipt from Apple. What the fuck did I buy from Apple? Your ID was used to purchase an iPhone Lightning Dock Silver, $49? From iTunes store on a device that had not been previously associated with you. If you do not initiate this purchase, please go- Well, I'm clicking that fucking link because I didn't buy shit. Hold ask that sensitive information, confirm your password. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Alright, so my dumbass just clicked on this link and signed in. But I didn't sign in on the website. I'm gonna change my password anyway. That is not the actual Apple. <laughs> oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. We're changing that password right now. That's what I hate about fucking email on mobile. You have to actually click the name to see the fucking email. Can I change my password, please? Hurry before these assholes fucking hack me. All right, password changed, fucking pricks. I have never ever fallen for that before in my life. I still technically didn't really fall for it, even though I kind of did. Okay, so I got the email and it just said fucking 
fucking Apple or some shit. They literally made everything look fucking legit. Their name was Apple. The site that they made me log into was it looked exactly the fucking same as a like legit site. And then it redirected me when I signed in to the actual Apple site, which I think was just a replica too. And after that, after it redirected me to that site, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I stopped and I went to go check the email of the sender and it was just a bunch of fucking random numbers and letters. I'm like, oh, I fucked up. They're gonna fuck me in the ass now. Immediately went and changed my fucking password. My password's changed, I'm good. They ain't gonna hack shit. Do not fall for that shit ever. Always look at the fucking email. I could, if I didn't realize that, I could have been fucked right now. They could have been buying shit like crazy. Even though I don't really have PayPal or credit card connected to it, I do have like 30 bucks in there, but who gives a fuck? They weren't gonna do much with it, but I just don't want to lose like my Apple ID because everything is fucking associated with the Apple ID. Everything's connected to that shit. And I've had this thing for, it's been like 10 years for sure. So I don't want that shit getting fucking stolen or anything. So always be careful. Always check that it's a legit fucking sender, not some asshole who's trying to impersonate and steal your shit. Anyways, back to the Best Buy thing. They haven't replied. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep it here, unplug. They already told me I can go and exchange it. I got email fucking proof. Cause they tell me, oh, your warranty is up or whatever. Your time is up. You waited too fucking long. And no bitches, you told me I can fucking exchange this shit. I'm just waiting on the reply i'll probably keep you updated now i gotta edit this video and set up my fucking itunes because i i really want to use my new phone anyways i'm gonna go remember be careful don't fall for that shit always double check before you put in any fucking passwords or any random assholes and uh yeah i'll see you tomorrow with another video adios